Hello and welcome to a new try now video. Today we'll try free fight. This is my fourth run. So I got health regen, health. I'll explain everything in a moment. Movement speed, or more. You know, 2% uh, crit chance. With gems that you get in the runs, you can buy permanent upgrades. 2% cooldown reduction, pickup range. That's about it. So that's my fourth run. So why four runs? By the way, you can buy souls. It's a free game. Link in the description for where to find the game. But there's my core transaction where you can buy souls, maybe for new characters and things like this. So I discovered this game on a channel. Her name is uh, Nunki. And uh, there's a link in the description on her YouTube channel. I like watching her channel because I find all sorts of games that I'm interested in. So check out her channel. She's on my Discord and the creator of this game is on my Discord. I believe we have eight developers right now on our Discord. And who made this game? Blazorus. Blazorus made this game. So it's maker, the maker of Clicker Heroes, Mr. Mine. And I think there's a poker game, of course, Clicker Heroes too. So the whole run will be times two. And uh, this is my fourth run, so I should do better. First time I died at wave 15, then 17, 17. And then this run, I'll do much better. There's one place where I messed up, unfortunately, though. Um, so I had trouble with audio. That's why it's my fourth try. I found a way to record with audio, but somehow the Xbox bar would not record audio at all. So I'm using Shadow Play. And the first run, there was no audio in the game at all. So the game uh, is a month old. It's still being improved and developed. It's not totally perfect, but I really like it. It's fun and it's addictive. And I'm looking forward for my next run. So if you want more runs, please let me know in the comments. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I play all sorts of games, mostly incremental, idle, clicker games, but also uh, roguelites, uh, games like this, like Vampire Survivors, that, or Zombie Survivors, and eventually Metroidvania, and also vintage game, old games. That's for the future, I have all sorts of ideas. 500 videos we got so far, we're approaching 4,000 subscribers, so you're welcome to join, subscribe, and join our discord we have a nice community of at least 400 people more than that with mods and as i said a good eight developers and multiple youtubers also trying to build a community it's a lot of fun so i'm gonna just tell you that um, yes it's a great game i think it has a lot of potential it's not perfect I'm gonna tell you what are the imperfections. First imperfection would be the music. The music is always the same loop. There's only one song. I still wanted to put it in the game though. And the first one I was thinking, because there was no sound, right? I was thinking, ah, oh, do I put some generic uh, YouTube music? But no, it's not true to the game and you wouldn't hear the sound effect. By the way, uh, I'm not even concentrating on the action here. I have a trail of fire that reminds me of Risk of Rain, the first one, you know, with the gasoline when you run. So when I run away, I damage mobs. I have a boomerang also. That's good for close range and this sort of uh, spike ball also. So anything that gets close to me get hit hard. But I'm gonna get an amazing item. Um, so not yet, but very soon that will make a big difference. So here I increase the damage of my boomerang. Okay, so the music, I assume they'll fix that. I mean, in different world, different music and longer songs would be nice. Also the, um, it doesn't feel like 60 frames per second or even 30 frames per second. I don't know how many frames per second this is, but it's uh, not 100% smooth. It doesn't, it doesn't take away the fun of the game, but it doesn't feel completely polished. Usually I don't do reviews for games, but I just want to let you know. Anyways, it's free, you have nothing to lose. 
the link is in the description check it out here's the the thing i was talking about the lightning that's another thing maybe at least for the lightning it's very strong and uh of course with twice the speed so it's even tougher but even at normal speed it's very hard to see where the lightning hits and i don't know if it procs every time i hit a mob but what it says is uh, generate a lightning strike when you hit a mob and it procs a fair amount I think it's one of the factors why I did well so what is well in this well the highest achievements are at wave 30 so I'm gonna get there okay so spoiler I guess um, I won't put timestamps usually in runs like this like vampire survivors in my runs. that's the first boss by the way so if you don't get hit by a, a boss, you get an achievement. I already have the achievement for not getting hit by this boss. He's pretty easy, but you just need maybe a little bit of run speed. But I have it in my permanent upgrades. The second boss is not difficult and there's something odd about it. At wave 20 and I messed up, I got hit once and I didn't get the achievement. I will get achievements in this run, but they pop on another game, Leaf Blower Revolution, which is running in the background because this game is running 24-7. So the achievements, you know, the Steam Overlay, it popped on Leaf Blower Revolution, unfortunately. It's not a big deal. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you which achievements I have. So what would I do with the future runs? Well, I would uh, try the other characters and try to get every achievement in the game and watch for updates. Um, it has a lot of potential and it's similar of course to Vampire Survivors and Zombie Survivors it's on my channel Zombie Survivors I haven't played in a while in fact this is more I think it's richer than Zombie Survivors it has more weapons Zombie Survivors didn't have I'm going to improve my chain lightning here did I? no I didn't I changed my mind or something like that anyways uh, zombie survivors um, it's been a while since they didn't put an update a lot of fun too but I think this is a little better because it has way more weapons I mean you cannot really go wrong with Blazorus I know they have trouble with clicker rose too which I still play by the way this is the oldest running series on my channel two years and I'm still not done and I'm playing legit you know uh, because I know there's a console I'm aware of that but I'm not using it and I'm not doing any research and it takes oh man it takes so long and there's problems with the game so unfortunate but I'm going to be able to get all the steam achievement on clickery rose 2 maybe in a year or something like that and I might go back to clickery rose 1 also maybe I have a million ideas in my mind but it's a question of how much time I want to put on YouTube and this will be decided after the month of July because I was gone for a month and you know, it's a long story um so that's what i got so far i'm trying to think what else i need to tell you so i have this uh blue ball it's not that fantastic i don't know if it's aoe or anything like this but i sort of um what i did is i got at least one of each weapon i mean not upgraded you know what i mean so that blue ball, I got it once, I didn't upgrade it. Um, magic Missile reminds me of the wand on the Vampire Survivors. And when you get multiple, you see the white stuff, it's a bit hard to see at the speed. By the way, the reason why it's so fast is because I did a poll on Vampire Survivors and overwhelming, well, overwhelming, three quarters or something, I would have to check. Most people wanted double speed. It's easier for me to comment and the video was on that as long, you know. Uh, Vampire Survivor uh, run is 30 minutes on a normal map. So 30 minute video turns into 15 and it's easier to comment. I'm not the best at commenting yet, but I'm getting better. Well, I say yet, I don't think I'll ever be the best voiceover. Like, would I be better than Morgan Freeman, you know what I mean? <laughs> Makes no sense what I just said. The fountain uh, will save my life. Well, I'm not gonna get close to die, but it will help me. But sometimes it spawns in the middle of the map, surrounded by mobs, and I cannot reach it. But it's it's a good 
item. I think it's better than regen. Regen is sort of weak. I get maybe one per second right now. If you take a look, think about the fact that this is double speed. And look at my health. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's double speed. So regen is not fantastic. Although I can improve it in the shop. So yeah, I'm excited about the potential of this game. And when I saw a non-key, I'm sorry about pronunciation though. When I saw a non-key uh, playing this game, and then I looked it up and I saw that Blazorus made it. It's among all, of course, that's my life story. Same as Vampire Survivor, I joined one month too late. And um, I sort of missed the train. Although my guys did well, for me well is four figures in fact. My evolution guy should reach 10,000 views. But my runs are not really watched all that much. So I think Vampire Survivors will have a final ultimate mother of all run when they finish the roadmap. They have a roadmap. Once they uh, reach all their goals, I'll uh, do a super mega run and probably end Vampire Survivors. For this game, well, it will depend on you. So what I'm looking at is really... Um, views like subscriptions comments so views you can't really control it but you can control whether or not you subscribe comment leave a like if i see there's interest for another run let me know in the comments don't be shy and i'll try another character there's achievements for three characters reaching wave 10 20 and 30 for three characters so that would be cool to do in fact it would be cool to get every single achievement there is in this game and that includes, that includes not getting hit by the boss at wave 20, which is relatively soon. We are at wave 17. The same day this video releases, I'm gonna release something regarding Android games. Bluestacks, you probably know about Bluestacks. Many times I said that Bluestack sucks and I explained everything in that video that I will release the same day. I invite you to check it out because I found a way, well, I found a way. Somehow it started working sort of properly and it's relatively smooth right now, but I did have a lot of problems with Bluestacks before. So I used to say it sucked, but now uh, it seems to um, be stable. So it's a gold mine for incremental idle games, stuff like this. If I'm fast and I find a brand new popular clicker game idol game things like this it could be extremely beneficial for the channel and entertaining for you so i invite you to check it out as i said it releases today the day of this video so if you go in uh, videos you're gonna see it it should release at 9 30 eastern and this one that i'm showing you right now will release at 9 45 so it's already out so i invite you to check it out and let me know what you think. A lot of potential in these mobile games. I don't play on my cell phone, it's a long story. I really all on my computer, so Steam only, right? So I was limited. And with this blue stacks, I was looking for other emulators, but I didn't find anything I was satisfied with. Now Blue Stacks 5 seems to do okay. So Hey, wave 19, so we're gonna reach the boss and you see me mess up, unfortunately. And something strange is going to happen. We'll talk about that. So here, you saw me reset the shot. That's because I wanted more run speed. So all I have to do here is be patient and run nonstop. You see those spikes? Okay, first they're unpredictable, but they sort of hit me at least uh, well, more than once and I didn't take any damage. I don't understand. Like, I don't know. I was trying to see, is there a circle that appears or anything like this? Well, I'm gonna get impaled. Maybe if I don't move, it's possible that if I don't move, the spikes cannot spawn where I am. That's possible too. So yeah, you move non-stop and when he does the spike, you stop moving. See, I just ran into a spike, you see that? And I, now I just got hit stupidly by an axe but just before i hit a spike and i got uh, no damage i don't understand but yeah that axe hit was so avoidable and i would have gotten an achievement 
But I mean, if I do multiple runs eventually, I'll. He's not difficult, honestly. He's easy, so I just gotta concentrate. <laughs> uh, it was my first try ever, anyway, so I know what to expect a little more. So I just bought a new space. Uh, I didn't talk about that, but you can buy new spaces in um, the shop so that you're given more options. So that's what I did. And now wave 21 is my record because wave 17, right? Died twice at wave 17. So let's see how far I get. At least 30 because I did mention 30, but will I go further? We'll see. So we're still doing good, the damage is sufficient, and again, this lightning thing is really powerful. And I have enough uh, damage close to me with the boomerang, as I explained with... Oh, the tornado is very strong too. I chose the tornado, that's a no-brainer. And you can attract mobs towards the tornado if you're in trouble, and they get stuck there. This little puddle is... Honey something, and I will make a mistake later on and I will upgrade. I said, they want me to upgrade honey something. What is this honey thing? Honey jar, whatever. And I didn't clue in that it was just the slowdown. It's not the best item. It doesn't stay for very long unless you upgrade it a lot, but I just want more damage and more electricity and things like this, you know. And more survivability too. 210 health, some armor. Once I buy permanent upgrades, I'll be even stronger. So I would assume this game is endless. Plus two magic missile shots, that's pretty good. Once again, it's exactly, exactly like the one in Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors, what a masterpiece, isn't it? If you haven't played this game, it's three dollars. You must try it out so if you like this type of game it's not free i know it's three bucks but it's worth every cent uh, you can check my videos on vampire survivors my whole channel is organized in playlists so check out my playlist and uh, find my vampire survivor playlist it's an amazing game can this game measure up to vampire survivor why not why not just a few things to fix you know and add some content fix the music you know here's uh, the ballista i like the ballista because um, it uh, appears somewhere on the map and it does its thing it kills mobs away from you reducing the amount of mobs that will later come to you so i like this thing i think it pierces through mobs also i do like my main weapon my basic weapon which pierces through mobs the second character that's available has the boomerang. I don't know if the boomerang that this character has, and I have no clue how the character is called. I don't know if it's stronger than whatever boomerang I have right now. I would have to try it out. Boomerang's good. In Zombie Survivors, boomerang is pretty crazy. You should see my uh, run with... Uh, I was uh, number one on Discord for Zombie Survivors. So many boomerangs, pretty crazy. So many zombies dying, a lot of fun. I really hope that they're going to update that game. So wave 25. You see how they seem to be charging towards me? There's something I don't really understand. Eh, I'm gonna try to pay attention. You see these numbers moving in lines? Is it the ballista that hits them and it pushes them? Let me just, everything's so fast. Let me just check this out because as I was playing, I was trying to concentrate. I didn't understand that. And I felt like some mobs were pushed onto me. Here's chain lightning damage. No, that's not what I'm going to go for. Oh, plus 10 HP. I think I got that. I thought it would be plus 10 permanent HP, but it's just a heal of 10 HP, I think. Pretty bad. The one that's good is the plus 50 HP permanent. That's much better. Okay, I'm gonna look at the ballista and see if it's what I think. Where it throws an arrow in a pile. Yeah, it does. See? But does it push mobs? 
No, I don't think it does. It just uh, goes through mobs and you see the numbers. But I saw numbers coming at me thinking it was a mob, but it wasn't. Because I was really concentrating here, it's getting a little bit more difficult. My DPS is not really following all that much and uh, there's a lot of mobs, I guess. But I think I can play better than this with practice, you know. Of course, a 30 minute upgrades will help a lot. But uh, if I get good, <laughs> if I improve, I think I can do much better than this. There's silly hits that I... Sometimes I sort of daydream. Does it happen to you when you play a game like this? Like here I was trying to... You see, I was trying to reach that fountain, but there was a wall of mobs. But does it happen to you sometimes where you play a game like this and you sort of start daydreaming and you start thinking about stuff, not even the game. And this is where I start getting hit for ridiculous reasons and I shouldn't. I think every health point is important. Here's a plus 50 health, by the way. Every health point is important. Now I got 360 health at wave 28. So we'll get to see the boss at wave 30 and I found the boss very strange you're gonna see what I mean it's a strange fight Mimi needs a little bit of tweaking again it's one of the first time that I do some sort of review type of thing I don't think I'll ever do reviews one thing I want to do though and I will do it but it will take a while is the top 10 best incremental games of all time of course it will be my own opinion but I have to play many, many um, key incremental games, impactful ones. I already did a few. I did Antimatter Dimensions, I did Cookie Clicker, of course Clicker Rose, I played a lot, and others. Um, but it will take me a long time, I need to do my homework to have at least some credibility. You may not agree with my final result, but at least I'll be able to back it up, you know. It could take me a year or two, I don't know, but eventually I want to make that top 10 with honorable mentions and all. So I have some sort of a video in my mind and I have no clue. I have an idea which game will be number one. I don't want to tell you yet though. Eventually you'll see it on the... It's not on this channel yet. Eventually you'll see it on this channel and I won't tell you that this is the game. And this might change. So, as you can see, I have... Tons of like, he's the boss. Check this out. I just run away, and with the fire, he's dead. So, they might want to work on that boss because it was insanely easy. He walked into my fire and died instantly. And I thought, is there another phase or something? What's going on? So, this boss is insanely easy. But I didn't see any achievement for not taking damage on wave 30. So, wave 31. Can you tell the difference? Look at the mobs, how fast they are, how many they are. So I'm gonna have to be stronger here, it's not really... Yeah, sure, I could play better, but look, I'm stuck in a corner here. My DPS is not really all that great. <laughs> so I think they really cranked the difficulty after wave 30. That would explain why the achievements all end at wave 30 and this is where everything ends and we're back to normal speed. And let's take a look at achievements. So this is very easy. Defeat the first boss. Okay, these are early ones. 1000 gold in a run. 5000 monster in a run. I'll let you read. Wave 10 without damage, 20. Couldn't get it. But then, see there's no 30. Okay, so I just gotta be careful with the, 30, uh, the 20. And then wave... 10, 20, and 30 on two more characters. So I had to find out what they are. So please let me know if you want more runs of this game. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Nunki, for making this video. Watched it, left a little comment, and uh, I continue to check your channel for games because I'm hunting for games. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.